Hey, Stephanie, better known as Stephanie 50 and Climbing. Girl, let me just tell you something. I know I probably told you that. I know you get this a lot, but you look good for 50, okay? Really, really good, girl. I just, man, I just hope I look as good as you when I turn 50, okay? I got five more years, five more years. But at any rate, I'm just let you know, I did look over your channel, and you asked me about uh, the your book, too, as well. Now, I don't, I'm not, I don't know a lot about, you know, how to, you know, really give you advice for marketing your book or whatever, but I do know that I'm in the process of working on a book, and for my publishing team, it's more that I, and, and I th think I paid, I'm going to pay them a percentage in order to, you know, get me out in the, in the bookstores and doing, doing book tours and being on different shows and different things like that. However, if you don't, can't go that route, I would suggest that you contact a variety of publishing companies because you could do that too and you have consultations because I have to have consultations with um, publishing companies and then they told me which direction I should go in or what I should be looking for. So I'm sure that uh, publishing companies will be willing to share that with you and it's free. So you can get some consultations in um, and and they, they will give you a free consultation and then they can give you kind of a direction of where um, you may want to be going as far as if you want to get on um, Kindle or uh, audio books or um, Amazon books. There's so many things out there, but I'm sure if you get started to get into that, they may try to charge percentage, uh, percentages you know, percentages of, of what, whatever you make or whatever. Um, I think that's about it, girl, because I really don't know. I'm just like, ew, I don't know what to say with that. But at any rate, I did. Okay, so you told me to look over your channel, and I did look over your channel. Let me just say something, girl. I love the two-time spicy ch chicken wing challenge. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Lived for it. I like the way, too, that um, I noticed that in a lot of your video, in your videos, that you do now, you have a longer intro. And this is what I am going to say. And you don't have to listen to me, girl. Everything I'm telling you is just tips and things that I have used and things that people have told me and things that I've learned at VidCon, which is a YouTube uh, YouTube convention that they have every year. So it's things that I've learned that I have applied to my channel over the years. But having long intros is not good. So they tell you to keep your intro fit. Uh, 20 seconds or small, uh, shorter. So 20 seconds or shorter for an intro. Because when you do longer intros and always have them very, very long, uh, people tend to click off. That you lose their interest. And the goal with YouTube is trying to get people to stay on your video as long as pop possible. Watch time is everything in YouTube. Watch time. If you can grasp that, that means we got to catch their attention in the first, uh, you ain't even got that, that first minute, that first second, that second to like, like second on to like at least five minutes. Let's get, you got to catch their attention because when you start doing that, you start to be in the favor of YouTube's algorithm and they start to recommend, recommend your videos more because they feel that whatever you're doing in that video is keeping people on there very much longer. And let me just tell you something. Like for instance, if you're on, um, um, doing a, 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 a video and you just uploaded it and it just, you just uploaded it and it's, uh, uh, you put it on public for YouTube. Literally, if somebody is watching your video and then somebody else come up and you're not catching their attention, they gonna click off your video to go to somebody else's video and we get penalized for that. So the longer you can wait, longer that you can watch that person's video, you know what I'm saying? The better. That's all I'm trying to say. I hope I know. I don't, I ain't um, confusing you. Anyways, I was trying to tell you, make your shorter intro. Now, you had a short, a shorter intro, which was cute, sweet, simple. You was right to the point. You just had a very short and sweet. I, don't even, I think it was like only five seconds. But it's nothing wrong with you having a big, a longer, nice intro, but just make it under 20 seconds. That's it. Like mine, I made mine under 20 seconds, and I had to go to my, um, my graphic designer and tell her I have to have it shorter, but at the end you can play the long version of the video because you don't care then because they made it to the end of the video. So at the end of the video, on all the end of my videos, I had the long version, but I put the short version in version version in front. Um, repeat your highest view videos. Anything that you got highest views on, repeat it. Now I know that I don't know if you don't eat meat because I see you saying you don't eat meat no more or you uh you you know you're not you uh. You're not eating meat as much, 
Or are you weaning off of me? I'm not sure. But I do know this. You looking good. You losing weight. Because I was looking at some of your older videos. You have lost weight. And I don't know if you notice that. But sometimes it takes other people to notice them, um, you know, first before we do. You know, so I just let you know. Uh, whatever you're doing, it's working. You losing weight because I can see it in your face. Um, what I have to tell you. Uh, also... You need to add more ads to your videos. You have got monetized. Congratulations to you for getting monetization. That is not easy. People think that YouTube is so much easy and you everybody going to get uh, monetized. No, 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 no. You have done a great job. You need to pat yourself on the back because it's bigger than what people think. Big, see, I know because I'm a YouTube creator, so I understand. When you say monetization, yeah, it is a party, okay? Because it's not easy. But you made it people come on to monetization. Congratulations to you. But now, you got to put the work in it, honey. You got to go back to all those videos and put bitty ads in those videos. And then, and, and what you need to do is pace yourself. Do like, uh, maybe if you could do five videos a day, putting ads in those five videos until you catch up with all of them. But you need to go back into your um, archive and put ads on all those videos so you can start earning some good money. Now, right now, the ads are sucky. Everybody is losing. Everybody's losing 60 to 70% of ad revenue right now because of the economy and, you know, this, the COVID-19. However, you still need to put that in your video because when they start, because it's going to go back up. And once it starts going back up, you want to be able to get revenue on those videos, okay? Because somebody's going to watch it. Somebody's going to watch those videos. Also, um, what else I got to tell you? I noticed some of your videos don't have ads. I said that. So add more ads in your videos. Oh, and on your lives, girl. Your lives will make buku money. Because you've been in all your lives. Your lives will be two hours, three hours, an hour. That is a lot of footage where you can put ads into that. So after you upload it from the uh, You Go Live, you need to go back to it and add ads. And girl, start collecting that coin, okay? Um, I would suggest that you need, you need studio lights. Now, what happened? Because now... You're, I don't think you use studios lights now, but back in the day, I thought I seen your videos a kind of more brighter. So, and you was using the green screen, so I know you have to have lights, and your green screen look look nice. I liked your presentation. What my thing I'm going to tell you too is, uh, have your food already prepared. This is a thing for mukbangers. I'm telling you because they people want you to. To see you eat right away. Or that is a chance for them to click off. So like I heard saw you making some mushroom tacos. Which by the way. Sounded so yummy. I don't know why. I, I was hungry when I was watching that video. But I'm like man that sounds good. Some uh mushrooms with some taco seasoning. That sounds perfect. And you was putting it on there. Oh it looks so good girl. Yes it looked good. Anyways. um, But you was preparing. And I was sitting there. You, people are like me. I'm sitting there. I'm waiting for you to. To, to bite into that taco, bite it, bite it, bite it, but you're, you, you're, you're making it and preparing it. So what you have to do, and if you're afraid, afraid of it getting soggy, because I'm like that too with my tacos, just hurry up and make up and hurry up and push play. Make sure everything is up, up in front. What you can do to make sure your camera is right and the angles are right, have your shells on your plate. Um, and also when you do that, um, have the camera on, on the, whatever part you need the camera on to make sure you are situated the right way. And then go hurry up and make your tacos, bring it back. And it's already, all you gotta do is push play. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's already done. Okay. Um, invest in a lavalier. If you haven't already, that's a lavalier. It cancels out the white noises, everything in the background. I noticed in one of your videos, you had the fan on with the fan. That is a distraction. People don't understand with the YouTubers. With mukbangs, ASMR, or anything, and eating sounds, people have a fetish on this thing. This is a real fetish for some people. And they like to hear the eating sounds, the crunching sounds, without any interruptions, interference. That's what makes them stay on your video longer, and that's what makes them go to sleep on your videos, which will occur for you to have more money, more watch time. It's like a domino effect and more recommendations and um, being favored by the algorithm of YouTube. Look up the algorithm of YouTube. Look up the SEO, which is the Search Engine Operator, which is something that will help you with your titles, your tags, and your description. Makes you be more defined with it. Girl, I am running out of time. Look up TubeBuddy as well. I think that's it. Uh, but, girl, I just want to congratulate you again for keep on going and keep on moving. Stephanie, you're doing an amazing job. Uh, email me at belovesliketonumber2cook at gmail.com and I will let you know what video I'm going to have you on. Okay, bye. I love you.